What is the smallest metal square outlet box that you would select for five number 12 conductors and three number 10 conductors? And the correct answer is a four by one and a half. For this one, we're gonna head to 314.16B first, and we're gonna grab the cubic inch volume for each one of these conductors. For our 12s, they're gonna be 2.25 each. And for our 10s, they're going to be 2.50 each. Now, we just do some math. We take all of our 12s, which is 5. We multiply that by 2.25, and that's going to give us 11.25. Then we take our 10-gauge conductors, which is 3, and we multiply that by 2.50, which is going to give us 7.5. Now, all we have to do is add them together. We take our 11.25 plus 7.5, and that's going to give us a total cubic inch volume of 18.75 inches. And what that is saying is that these conductors are taking up 18.75 cubic inches of this box. Now, to find the box that we need, we just head to 314.16a, and we select our box. Starting on the left-hand side, first we're going to come down and we're going to make sure that we, I'm actually going to start in the middle and make sure that we're in the four square boxes. So this would be four by four by whatever dimension. And I have my three different size boxes over here. And I'm going to make sure that I don't leave this section because when I go down lower in the table, I'm in a different style box. So make sure that you're in the right style of box. So we come down here, find our type of box. We cross over to our volume column. And we slide down and find a, a box that is large enough to accommodate these conductors. And once we get past 18, we know that we need to at least go to the next size and see if it's going to be large enough. And in this case, we have 18.75. We're going to bump up to the 21 cubic inch box, and it just happens to be a 4 by 4 by 1.5. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.